it's the 1st of September and that can mean any one thing, it's duck season and uh, we're down our pond tonight. Uh, we've got some reared ducks that we put down about a month and a half ago uh, that aren't ready to go yet but uh, the amount of uh, feeding that we're giving them has attracted lots of uh, uh, ducks off the stubbles and we've got about 100 wild ducks coming regularly to the pond so tonight we're going to be out for the first time uh, with a group of friends. I've got a couple of friends over from Germany and hopefully try and get a brace of ducks each. And once you're on your place, you're live. <laughs> what do you mean? You can shoot <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Um, but um, you'll you'll hear them obviously get off. Hopefully. Um, choose your choose your birds sportingly. Um, reload, shoot at will, and we'll and then at the end. Um, just a small drive, uh, Rip will blow the horn, we'll finish, unload, and we'll pick up everything for you, okay? okay. So, well, we stayed there until you come and... and I'm going to be with you. Oh, you will Okay, guys. So, uh, this is our pond. We've had it for probably seven or eight years. Um, we release about 200 uh, mallard onto it, um, end of July, beginning of August. And we don't actually get to shoot them till probably October, November time. Uh, and they join the wild stock, so really it's just. Uh, we're adding to the wild stock to make it sustainable. Um, also on this pond we get widgeon, uh, teal, uh, tufted duck, You see them out there, Tim? Yeah. They're just done. They're just hunting about, aren't they? And there's a reservoir, a big reservoir, about two miles from here. And we get a lot of grey lag geese and Canada geese. And the grey lags are non-migratory. Some guys released them about 20 years ago on a local estate, and they're bred and bred but they don't know how to migrate, so they're just the same as the Canadas, they just stop in the area. And uh, they're a bit wilier than the Canada. Uh, we've got a Canada goose decoys out over there, far side of the pool, where we've got some potatoes on the edge that they've been coming to feeding, but there's so many stubbles out at the moment, they've got uh, a real spoil for choice uh, with regards to um, what they're going to feed on. So anyway, I think in the first hour we've shot six or eight mallard and one teal and uh, it's just getting now to 20 past seven so we've got at least another hour, hour and a quarter of light so uh, fingers crossed get a few more wild mallard coming in maybe some tufties and maybe some teal I don't know what happened there, Rick. That's the trouble with this steel shot, you've got to be really on it.
Here you are, boys, get ready. Ernest. Ernst. <laughs> But our German guests have just shot in a nice tufted duck. Yeah, yeah. Mallard just took off over there, look. Coming back round, 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 coming over us now. <laughs> I said coming back round. Then Mallard went off from the far end. I bet. Coming round, boys. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> so uh, there you go. That's the. Um, the, uh, the end of our first evening of duck shooting for the season, and uh, we've all shot a brace each, so we've had a really nice evening. Yes. Ernest, have you had a good time? Yes, a marvellous time, because of, because of uh, the geese, mostly. Oh, well, the geese that we didn't hit, but uh, anyway, we saw <laughs> plenty of them. Yes, yeah. Aidan, you enjoyed yourself oh, over in Germany? Yes. Great, well, that's a great night for us, yes. and now we're going well, to... my place, thank yeah, you very much. much. Oh, there's no geese, so we've no got plenty geese. here, but we can't yes. hit them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's us done for tonight. Wait for see another film next week. Thank you.